Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad from uh, Rad to Tarot and in this whole video we are going to look into Virgo week December 7th to December 13th 2020 and uh, in case you are interested in a personal reading with me uh, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're going to see a link to my website uh, from which you can pretty much purchase and uh, after that we are going to schedule such. So with that being said, let's move directly to the spread itself and the first card for you Libra that's uh, pretty much described the topic of your week moving uh, forward, that is going to be the Four of Pentacles, followed by the energy that it is feeding and supporting the topic itself, we do have the Five of Pentacles, afterwards that is going to be the Ten of Swords which is the challenge that you will need to overcome throughout the week. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy throughout the week itself. That is going to be the uh, Knight of Swords. Afterwards, it is the impression that you do leave into the people around. And that is going to be the Temperance, followed by uh, the um, obstacles that are going to hold you back. And we do have Justice. Moving next, it is the positive aspects that is going to uh, push you forward and that is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. And the last one here, which is the guidance the Tarot is offering, that is going to be the uh, Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune changes the picture a bit, um, uh, quite a bit here. Hmm. I'll need a minute. Without the Wheel of Fortune, this reading is all about sustenance and stick to your thing, okay? But with the Wheel of Fortune, things are taking quite of a different turn. Because uh, with that guidance, the Wheel of Fortune is uh, pretty much saying that within this week, or it could be about, it could relate to something that recently happened, you know, but in generally within the week, um, uh, there will be a chance for you to make change of the change, the change of your life in either career or relationship, maybe for your entire life. So we are not talking about sustenance here. We are talking about overcoming the uncertainties, uncertainties and the insecurities that are depriving you or rather like that are pushing you away of making such a move or such a decision, something like that. So the first two cards we got, these are, uh, well, it's, it's very difficult to interpret them one by one. It's just this one coherent thing. But I will, I will do my best here to present you the story. So with the first two, uh, we do have the energies of the Five of Pentacles and these are exactly the energies of the sense of uncertainties and insecurities. Uh, it's it, something from sort of like uh, being afraid for your work, uh, for your place at work that you may get laid off or fired any minute, okay? Or being afraid of, of being left alone as well, not as strong as uh, the um, Nine of Swords, because Nine of Swords, is, it, it is like internal struggle, okay? When you are being afraid to be left alone, like you, you doubt uh, in your partner or you doubt in yourself or in your love or in your partner's love or you do or you are afraid from certain consequences of actions that you will have to do and so on and so forth. While here we are talking about exterior problems which are trifles, those energy brings those exterior problems, which are trifles. And uh, if you go along with those uh, energies and actually resolve those problems, then we are reaching the topic of the week itself, which is a, the Four of Pentacles. And Four of Pentacles, it is again about sustenance, but as the Wheel of Fortune is at the end, we are talking about the, susten the, the sustenance of the new where you do ensure a certain future with whatever new you are developing in your life. That could be new job, new relationship, for example, it could be pregnancy as well, whatever it is, okay, whatever happened new or is about to happen new to you into the upcoming week, you can definitely can go for sustenance, you can definitely ensure its future moving forward. 
uh, but also it will require from you to take some kind of a de 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 defensive position i don't know how to say it it is like to to guard it to make it your domain to make it your comfort zone if you will or like to make it your i don't know how to say it, to make it your home uh, and that's about all that there is to it with these uh, with these couple of cards so resolutions of problems are bringing you the stability you need instead of um, I don't know instead of um, ignoring those problems or giving a silent treatment because we uh, the, the human beings in general we don't speak out loud about our problems or not all of us and kind of builds up and um, when it escalates pretty much it is the point of no return is it so we are moving to the next one which is uh, the challenges that you will need to overcome and that will be pretty tough to interpret we do have the ten of swords <sighs> ten of swords is always about about making uh, crossing a point that there is no return from but I can, it could literally relate to everything aside from, uh, aside from this uh, thing about sustenance. So just as with Leo, uh, just as with Leo, uh, you, are, you will have to overcome the, uh, the, the sacrifice, something like this that you will have to make in order to reach that sustenance. But with Leo, uh, with Leo was way too, way bigger than, than, than with you. To you, that is just a mean, uh, a means to an end. While with, with Leo was more like a necessity to be done, okay? And here, as a, uh, to, to me, the only thing that uh, this card speaks about, um, to you that is, it's uh, as a challenge is to finally make up your mind, okay? And just, you know, either throwing yourself into it with all you got or, or not, or you just break it. One of the two, you, you get to decide which one you want to, to do. But again, once that decision is made, then um, how can I say stability and comfort is going to jump into your life. But I cannot tell you which one you, can, you, you should make. You have to choose by yourself. And as it is the Ten of Swords, guys, your decision is going to be a final one. There is no going back. So think carefully, okay? Uh, also, the card could relate. Uh, it could relate to many things, but I'm trying to run through the most, um, how can I say, through the most common ones. So also the card could point that you should be uh, unwavering in a sense of that you just, you know, stand your ground and you just say what you got to say, you do what you got to do and whatever happens, happens. That also could be the way that the card represents here. And if that's the case, it's going to be a tough call or, or rather like, um, I don't know, a, a, a tough action, like when your company needs you you do found a better job here through the problems of the other company and you ensure a very good position but your other job needs you you have a contract and you pretty much don't care about that contract anymore and just saying you know from tomorrow i don't work here and it will be a tough call it will be kind of like shocking thing about the other company it will be shocking for you as well because probably the other company has some sentimental value for you but it is what it is. At the end of the day, you have to take care for your own happiness because none else will. And the Reiki, the Reiki master came about, so I'll have to kind of like speed up to wrap the, thing, the things around. Any case, moving next, uh, we do have uh, the uh, Knight of Swords. Now, that is uh, the gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy. And uh, that uh, should be a person that should be a person that um, pretty much kind of like tells you the things objectively and how you should do um, or rather like what they would have done into your, uh, into your situation. And also, uh, how can I say, it's not going to spare you any details about, but Knight of Swords, it's, it's the only court card that is Swords that follows their their feelings and their emotions because yeah the mind of the knight of swords is sharp it's agile it's 
it's pretty much penetrating through the truths and through the, through the lies and stories and always is seeking the truth. But when it comes to decision making, uh, Knight of Swords always charges toward the direction he feels it's right direction. I mean, if you can see here, nobody charges with such a dedication into something they do not believe in, they don't feel it like theirs, okay? So they always consult, consult with their emotions and um, as a gift and blessing, I do believe that that person is going to encourage you to do so. Are you gonna do it? That's entirely up to you to decide. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the temperance, which is the way that people see you. And uh, people are going to be pretty generous with you in a sense of their opinion. What I mean is that nobody is going to judge you for what you decide either way or another. Because literally here, uh, it's like sitting on, on a crossroad. And one of the roads, it is, um, how can I say, pretty much you know what to expect there, while the other is something completely new, unknown for you. Both of these, for what it seems, are going to work out. You get to decide which one you want to go for here. And whichever you decide, according to that card, people are not going to judge you for anything. And whichever you decide, people will see you fit in. Okay, you will have no problem whatsoever. Now, people may not be, a portion of the people may not be agree with your decision, but that doesn't mean that they're not going to respect it, just on the contrary. And they're gonna show you a huge portion of solidarity and compassion as well. So yeah, you're going to be in a good terms, uh, even with those that you will have to pretty much hurt, or I don't know how to say it, put into, a, a, a unfortunate situation because uh, uh, that's always what happens after you will have to make you know a tough call uh, or to do an action that there is no return from and so on and so forth so moving next we do have the uh, obstacles which are going to hold you back and it's pretty clear here with the justice that is about your cold mind or in other words trying to suppress your uh, your emotions and lingering to the uh, I don't know the word in English mm. or sticking with how things are supposed to be here I would I like to ask you according to whom they are supposed to be that way right here the justice points that there is a, uh, a responsibility, seemingly responsibility, that is, which are to be reminded to you that you will have to keep up with. But again, these are responsibilities according to whom? And whom are those responsibilities benefiting? You? I mean, that will be the obstacle that is going to hold you back and you will have to put your energy into it to discern is that truly is as the universe or, or whomever says or is it not and actually you are working for the fruits of someone of someone or you are putting your labor into the fruits of someone else's benefits so that's a, something you need to think about very carefully here uh, as the justice stands into that position you you will not gonna get what you deserve. You're either going to get more or less. And it will depend again on the decision that you are about to make. So it's a pretty tough one, uh, Virgo, I'm sorry. It's a pretty tough one. And uh, I wouldn't be on your, I don't wanna be on your, uh, on your place, if you will, for the cards doesn't say what this is going to be about. It's gonna be different for every single one of you because you are unique and everybody is going through their own life. But, but a tough call, really tough call. Moving next, we do have the uh, positive aspects of, uh, of the week, things that are going to push you forward. So we do have the Queen of Pentacles here, and that is another person that is going to be 
are very different from the Knights of Swords that we do have. Now, now Knights of Swords, it, it's like a, a someone that you knew uh, and that you had a good terms with, like a very best friend, for example, for a long, long time. While the Queen of Pentacles, it, it, it's kind of like more neutral type of an, an individual. It could be someone that you just, you know, share your experience and they do see themselves in, in your shoes because they already have been there and uh, the, the Queen of Pentacles, they are, they are very self-absorbed people. You, you need to know that as the King of Pentacles is actually the, the, dif the, the difference in between these two Queen of Pentacles and King, and King of Pentacles is very, very minor. But the Queen of Pentacles, these people, they're always encouraging you to discover unfound potentials. That could be, again, within the framework of your deeds or within the new. And again, it lingers to you. This, this person, a woman most likely, will point you the pros and the cons of either of your decisions. And you get to decide which one you want to go for. And according to the last card we got, which is the Wheel of Fortune here, everybody can say that, okay, everybody could interpret this card into this position. You got to go for the opportunity according to the, to the uh, Wheel of Fortune. But again, that is just guidance. You can completely ignore it and go for whichever you feel is best for you. But the Wheel of Fortune here points that what is happening to you, and I will quote a book, okay, keywords here, guys. Once in, a lifetime, once in a lifetime opportunity which causes a once in a lifetime change. So to me, uh, here you do have something you don't want to miss, but again, even if you do miss it and you don't know what you have missed, it's not going to be a big deal at all. <clears throat> so that being said, Libra, oh, Libra, oh my God, Virgo, that was your um, weekly tarot reading for uh, December 7th to December 13th, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys. I hope that you're really, really gonna make the right decision for yourself. Oh, there is no right or wrong decision here. And it's just, it all falls to that, what you can live with, okay? Or what you cannot live without. And um, yeah, I mean, you will have to unfortunately bear the consequences of your decision. No one else here will, but one last thing, don't allow the trifles to, to pretty much stop your development, whatever that development leads you to. So yeah, that being said, that was your weekly tarot reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we shall see each other next time. Until then, bye.